I'm not sure why, but I've been thinking about this a lot these days. Thought about it that morning of the Apple Cup, about those moments in our lives. Maybe you can relate. I know Richard Peterson can. Does it feel good to have that cash in your hands? Yes. <laughs> it's those moments in your life when you know. I feel exhausted. It's time. I just hate the street. I just hate the street. I just hate the street. Time to stop what you're doing. I just don't want to do the street. And try something new. Please support me. Something else. Please support me. Anything but what you've been doing. I need to play the piano. That moment. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. When you realize the one thing that gave you so much comfort and joy doesn't give you any anymore. You know, I, I'm listening to you play the trumpet. Your heart isn't in it. No, my heart is not in the trumpet solo. Because it's one note at a time. One note, and then another. Richard Peterson's brain needs more. He needs chords. He needs to play the piano. I just wish I get more piano gig. So Richard Peterson has a choice now. Will he or won't he say goodbye to a part of him? His street performances have become a part of us. He's a good song. I hope people enjoy seeing my last performance. This is it? Yes, this is it. Hi. After 39 years as a street musician. Started December 7th, 1934. Oh. Richard Peterson says he is done. Do you believe him when he says that's it? I believe what anything he says. Richard will be back. I you won't. Will. You will. I won't. You will. Will he? Or won't he? You'll be back. I won't be back. You'll be back. I won't oh, be back. Oh, I know. It's hard to know with Richard. Six. Another hug? Another hug in the elevator. <laughs> I've been his buddy nine years. All right. <laughs> You're killing me here. <laughs> I'm not killing you. I'm just hugging you. I've watched this 65-year-old savant Bass conduct imaginary orchestras. I've seen him open up about his worst fears. So you're afraid for your life? Yes. Afraid. What happened to another street musician could happen to him. Tuba Man was kicked and beaten to death five years ago on the streets. <laughs> oh, here's someone. <laughs> I've listened to his stories oh. about his childhood. When Richard grew up, his father wouldn't speak to you, right? Right. He would not speak to him. And so we think Richard yearned for a male presence in his life. It's a big ball. I've witnessed with fascination I found this ball, you know, his fascination he's 50 years old. with his collection of balls. And apparently, I watched Richard Peterson's last street performance. No more. No more. <laughs> it's hard to know what Richard's feeling. It's hard to know what he's thinking, what's inside his head. There must be buildings in there, short ones and tall ones. The taller, the better. It's, yeah, it's, building. it's a building. And a head full of numbers, more numbers, and faces, lots of them. Faces of personalities. Johnny Mathis, Jeff Bridges, Pat Cashman. He's like a, a library shelf that's getting too full of books. Filled with melodies and moments and dates. It's all in his head. I don't know how he does it. He can keep track of how many times he's met everybody. For me... 16 times in 2004. 2005. 16. Uh, first time you met me? June 9th, 2004. And right here on Fifth Avenue and Blanchard, right? Yes. A story is a visit. Each time he sees you, it counts as a story on a building that's in his head. That building in his head of me is now 121 stories, and it keeps getting taller. Here's my monthly skyline in the early years. Richard's handwritten Christmas card. Here, a Christmas card for you. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. You never forget, do you? I know. I've got about 13 of these. TV and radio personality, Pat Cashman. Here's a complete chart of every time we've met. Yes. Okay, he's thinking of each personality as a building. Richard's personalities. Hey, happy holidays. He just likes radio and TV personalities. This might be him. Are the people he chooses to keep track of. No, that's not it. Once he decides on a personality, he has to see them. That pet? No. That's once a week, once a month, once a year. It's, it's, a, it's a little family, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Not so little. Currently, he's keeping track of 220 personalities. 
Retired newsman. He doesn't forget things. I know. Brian Johnson's building is just short of 830. When I retired, yes. Richard said he wanted to see me seven times before I died. Yes. <laughs> Not he died, I died. So you don't want to see him anymore. I don't want to see him five more times. <laughs> Once they die, the roof goes on the building, and then it's like it's done. <laughs> There's a Pat Cashman building, and it is... 497 four, stories. 497 stories. So you remember the date when you met Jeff Bridges? Yes, August 25th, August 25th 1991. Bridges uh, became a one-story building that day, 22 years ago. Yes. The movie star was shooting a scene from American Heart, on Capitol Hill. And you went up to him <laughs> and you said, what? I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> but I can tell you this day, Richard Peterson will never forget. Uh, okay, come on out. Richard can't get inside fast enough. I don't want to get in. <laughs> I don't want to wait outside. Jeff Bridges is about to perform at the Moore Theater. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. On this day, in this moment, <laughs> Bridges' building goes from 40 stories to 41. You're jamming. Come, no, I, I, come, I, come, come. I, will, I have one request. Yes. I have one request. Yes. You got to give him yeah. a building. Huh? <laughs> 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 huh? Will you? Um, man. What, is, is his name Mike Devine? No, 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 no man. My name's Chris Polonis. Chris Polonis, huh. man. <laughs> will you? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Come on, Richard. There's no artifice okay. about him. He is who he, who he is. And who he is is the piano man. You're the piano man, yes. after all, right? Yes. Richard's version of heaven must be this. Not on the streets, but on a Seattle stage, playing the instrument he loves. And he kicked it, didn't he? Oh, man. Was that incredible? Yes. Absolutely the yes. best thing ever. Yes. <laughs> hey, look, you guys have both, you both have the same haircuts, man. That night on stage was something else. He's since continued on this piano performing path with occasional paying gigs that sustain him. 200. Yes. Richard is blessed. Thank you. Because he knows what he wants <laughs> and what he doesn't. Our lives are shaped by the choices we make. Richard Peterson has made his choice. I should not go back in the street after that. Yeah, I mean, after that, come on, you can't play the streets. I know. We know. John Sharifi, King 5 News. Thank you.